Yo, what's up, YouTubers? Uh, today, I'm going to give you a rundown of apps that I think you will find useful with Project 5 on the Nexus 5X or 6P, doesn't matter which Nexus, or Nexus 6, doesn't matter which Nexus phone you got. But these are some apps um, that I feel are very useful. Um, if you're traveling, you're out and about, and you want to know the network you're on or you want to see it switch and things like that I mean I know it's not a real, real big deal I mean because of the fact that uh, the purpose the point for Project 5 was to keep you connected um, no matter what network or Wi-Fi whatever but uh, yeah so um, I don't know if you can see those two icons but one shows the LTE bands and the band frequency. And then I don't want to show us the logo. Let you know that I am um, on the T-Mobile's network. But now when T-Mobile network isn't as um, active or isn't um, that great in the area I'm in, it'll switch either to Sprint. As Sprint in my area has US Cellular, so I will never see US Cellular. But... There is another application that will show you all three networks and include your Wi-Fi network. So this is an app called Signal Spy. You can jump into that. Um, and then it'll show you LTE. And then it will show you the Wi-Fi you on, whichever Wi-Fi you on, or the LTE, um, the carrier network. And um, you know, it has all sorts of settings that you can configure. Um, not only that, in the drop down, as you can see, it shows Sprint, T Mobile, and US Cellular. So you can use the dial codes and then you can automatically switch and then it will switch. But um, I definitely recommend and Google recommends that you allow your device, your Nexus device, to do it automatically because it works much better that way. Um, for, for another one that shows you, the um, frequencies is Signal Check Pro. This is another application you can use with Project Fi um, to show you which provider carrier you're running on right now. It gives you all the band numbers and frequencies and neighbors and um, shows you the frequency of the Wi-Fi. So that's another great app. Um, another one is also Phonos. And that's the one you see right here with the big old pink T-Mobile logo. It gives you the exact color of the T-Mobile logo. It gives you information about your device, phone number, all that type of stuff. I don't care. Don't nobody call this number. Whatever. Um, this app is called My Mobile Coverage. And um, what it does is it gives you a coverage map of the particular provider carrier network you're on right then and there, but you have to be off Wi-Fi to actually get the full functionality of the application. So the application gives you the coverage map of your carrier. Now, another app um, you might want to check out is called Open Signal. And a lot of people give it crap because it's an open source application and a lot of people say it's not as accurate but it still gives you a map of it still gives you a map of the coverage as you can see it shows 2G, 3G and 4G but you can compare, compare uh, performances and as you can see it shows uh, gives you at t Sprint, T-Mobile and Verizon and it looks like in my area according to this T-Mobile downloads are great but Verizon uploads are the highest. Okay. So that's just something else you can check out. Also, you can do speed tests. Well, this this um right now is giving you the the GPS um coordinates. And then you can also see the wi uh cell towers. So according to mine, there's only one tower in the area and it's showing right there for T-Mobile Tower. So 
That's a great application. It's called um, the Open Signal app. Now, if you if you want to an app that that you want to use to help save data, and if you're on Nexus, hopefully everybody's on Android 7.0. Um, the Opera Max app helps you reduce and compress data usage, so you won't use up all your data. Okay. And Opera VPN, while on Wi-Fi, it will automatically uh, connect you to VPN, so um, you can stay you can stay protected browsing the web. And I do also have um, I do also have BetterNet. That's that application right there. And then you can also use the data saving for background for apps in the background. Go ahead and clear it out. So apps in the back background will stop running. Um, another great app is called Yman, and this will technically automatically update you i mean not update you but automatically connect you to uh, open wi-fi access so this is a great application for wi-fi connectivity if you want to stay wi-fi you don't want to use up data things like that or you don't have any data um let's see what else and those are pretty much about it. Oh, um, Google Hangouts, of course, if you want to, uh, if you want to use um, text messaging, you can um, put your project file number in Google Hangouts and it automatically, all your text messages and calls will automatically go through Hangouts if you want to use Hangouts app. But yeah, this is just a little rundown of applications I think are very useful. With uh, Project Fi and the Nexus devices, if you're on Project Fi, you need to check out these applications. I will leave the names in the list of each in the description. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about Project Fi. Also, the Pixel phones will be compatible with Project Fi, so you'll be able to, to use the Pixel phones on Project Fi. You can buy it from Project Fi. So, there you guys have it. Let me know your thoughts on the Nexus and Project Fi is a great collaboration with Google. Um, what, what are your experiences with the, the switching uh, networks and automatically connecting to Wi-Fi and getting the key? Because if you if you're not if you're not noticing in the in the Google Plus community with the Project Fi uh, users and users in general, we always flash and I got the key, the key. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, they need that future and Jay Z song. That should be the theme song for everybody with the key. Major key alert. Major key alert. Okay, it's your boy. I take you out, guy. Peace.